Imagine the burst of fresh, fruity flavors on your morning toast or the delight of a jam-filled dessert after dinner. The essence of sun-ripened fruits, sealed in a jar, ready to elevate any meal. If you've been buying jam off the shelves, it's time to experience the magic of making it at home. Today, we're unlocking the secrets to crafting the perfect homemade jam that's bursting with flavor, rich in color, and filled with the goodness of nature. The art of jam making is timeless. It's about preserving the bountiful harvest of nature, ensuring that the taste of summer or the sweetness of spring can be enjoyed even in the coldest of winters. But beyond preservation, making your own jam is an act of creativity. You get to experiment with flavors, adjust sweetness, and even mix fruits to create unique combinations. Plus, there's something incredibly gratifying about seeing jars lined up, filled with jam you made from scratch. Without the additives and preservatives of store-bought versions, homemade jam is a healthier, tastier choice. So, if you're ready to embark on this flavorful journey, let's dive right in and get our hands sticky. Step 1. Gather your ingredients. Fruits. The heart of your jam. Whether it's the classic strawberries, tangy blueberries, or lush raspberries, choose fresh and organic fruits for the best results. Ensure they are ripe but not overripe, as the natural pectin in them will help set your jam. If you're feeling adventurous, consider a combination of fruits for a unique flavor profile. Sugar. This isn't just for sweetness. Sugar acts as a preservative, ensuring your jam has a longer shelf life. While regular granulated sugar is most commonly used, if you're looking for a healthier alternative or a different flavor profile, consider honey, agave syrup, or even coconut sugar. Remember, the type of sugar can affect the jam's final color and taste. Lemon juice. Beyond adding a zesty tang, lemon juice plays a crucial role in setting the jam. The acid in the lemon juice helps extract pectin from the fruits and ensures a good gel consistency. Step 2. Prepare your fruits. Cleaning. It's essential to wash your fruits meticulously under cold running water to remove any dirt or pesticides. This step is crucial, especially if you're not using organic fruits. Prepping. Depending on the fruit type. Strawberries. Remove the green stems and hull them. Depending on their size, you can halve or quarter them. Blueberries. Check for stems or leaves and remove them. Raspberries or blackberries. These are delicate, so handle with care. A quick gentle rinse and pat dry is enough. Mashing. Once cleaned and prepped, place the fruits in a large bowl. For a chunkier jam, mash them slightly with a potato masher or a fork. For a smoother consistency, you can use a blender, but ensure you don't over-process. Step 3. Cooking the jam. Combining ingredients. In a large, heavy-bottomed pot, mix your prepared fruits, sugar, and lemon juice. Ensure everything is well combined before turning on the heat. Boiling. Place the pot on medium heat, stirring continuously to dissolve the sugar. As the mixture heats up, you'll notice it becoming more liquid as the fruits release their juices. Once everything is well combined, increase the heat to bring the mixture to a rapid boil. Simmering. After reaching a boil, reduce the heat to maintain a gentle simmer. This process will help concentrate the flavors and thicken the jam. Remember to stir occasionally to prevent sticking and burning. Keep an eye on the consistency. The simmering process can take anywhere from 20-40 minutes, depending on the fruit and its water content. Testing the consistency. It's essential to check your jam set. After about 20 minutes of simmering, place a small spoonful of the jam on a cold plate, you can keep one in the freezer beforehand. Let it sit for a minute, then push the jam with your finger. If it wrinkles and doesn't flood to fill the gap, it's ready. If not, continue cooking and test again in a few minutes. Step 4. Sterilizing the jars. Choosing the right jars. Opt for glass jars with airtight lids. Ensure they're free from cracks or chips. The size of the jar can vary based on your preference, but commonly used sizes are between 4 to 16 ounces. Cleaning. Before sterilizing, it's essential to clean the jars thoroughly. Wash them in hot, soapy water, ensuring to rinse off any soap residue. Don't forget to wash the lids and rings as well. Boiling method. Place the clean jars, lids, and rings in a large pot, ensuring they're fully submerged in water. Bring the water to a boil and let it boil for at least 10 minutes to kill any potential bacteria. Using tongs, carefully remove the jars, lids, and rings and place them on a clean towel to dry and cool slightly. Step 5. Filling the jars. Pouring the jam. Once your jam is ready and while it's still hot, carefully ladle it into the sterilized jars. Use a funnel to make this process neater. It's crucial to leave about one quarter inch of headspace at the top to allow for expansion during the sealing process. Removing air bubbles. 
After filling, run a clean spatula or a knife around the inside of the jar to remove any trapped air bubbles. This ensures a better seal and prevents the jam from spoiling. Sealing the jars. Wipe the rims of the jars with a clean, damp cloth to remove any spilled jam. Place the sterilized lid on the jar and screw on the ring until it's fingertip tight. You don't want to over tighten, but it should be secure. Step 6. Processing and Storing. Water Bath Canning. This step ensures your jam is shelf stable. Place your filled jars back into the large pot, ensuring they're covered by at least an inch of water. Bring the water to a boil and let the jars process in the boiling water for about 10 minutes. This will create a vacuum seal, ensuring your jam stays fresh. Cooling and checking the seal. After processing, use tongs to carefully remove the jars and place them on a towel to cool. You'll likely hear a popping sound as the jars cool, which indicates a successful seal. Once cooled, press the center of each lid. If it doesn't pop back, it's sealed. If it does pop back, refrigerate that jar and consume within a few weeks. Storage. Store your sealed jam jars in a cool, dark place, ideally a pantry or a basement. While the jam can last for up to a year, always check for any signs of spoilage like mold, off odors, or a broken seal before consuming. Once opened, keep the jar refrigerated and consume within a month for the best quality. Conclusion. Savoring your homemade delight. Taste of accomplishment. There's a profound satisfaction in creating something from scratch, especially when it's as delightful as homemade jam. Every spoonful is a testament to your effort, bringing a burst of fresh fruit flavors, preserved at their peak. Gifting. Your homemade jam isn't just a treat for your pantry, it makes for a thoughtful gift. Whether it's the holidays, a housewarming, or just a simple, thinking of you, gesture, a jar of jam you made yourself carries a personal touch that store-bought items can't replicate. Consider adding a custom label or a decorative ribbon to give it that extra special touch. Versatility in use. Beyond the classic toast spread, think of all the ways you can use your jam. Swirl it into yogurt, dollop it on pancakes, mix it into salad dressings, or even use it as a base for savory sauces. The possibilities are endless, limited only by your culinary imagination. Continuous learning. Remember, jam making is as much an art as it is a science. Each batch might teach you something new. Maybe you'll discover a new fruit combination, or perhaps you'll refine your technique to get that perfect consistency. Embrace the learning curve and know that even the occasional imperfect batch is part of the journey. Encouragement for next time. If this was your first time making jam, congratulations on your culinary adventure. If you're a seasoned jam maker, then here's to adding another batch to your repertoire. Either way, we hope you're inspired to continue exploring, experimenting, and enjoying the delightful world of homemade jams. Remember, the essence of jam making is capturing the freshness and flavor of fruits in a jar. So, every time you open a jar, it's like reliving the season in which those fruits were at their best. Happy jamming!